Hey everyone, welcome back to 30 Days of Autism Acceptance 2020. The prompts were made by Adi Jake on Tumblr. As always, a link to his blog will be in the description. Today's prompt for April 28th is, are you LGBT? Discuss the intersection between identities. So, um, I don't really consider myself to be part of the LGBT plus community. However, I do identify as queer, specifically breaking it down panromantic asexual, so I do not experience sexual attraction. Romantically, I am attracted to people regardless of gender. I, and I do believe fully that my queerness is directly tied to my being autistic. Um, for example, like, traditional constructs of relationships and gender are confusing. They give me headaches. I do not at all understand why being by having certain body parts means you have to present yourself or behave in a certain way. Um, long hair being feminine and things like that. <laughs> it does not make sense to me. Never has, never will. Um, also the color thing, like pink and blue, just the colors one of which is occasionally very bright and hurts my eyes, which is basically all I have to say about pink. Um, unless we're talking about the artist, in which case some good songs. Uh, that is an entirely different conversation, though. Um, and as far as relationships go, like, I do not understand why romantic and sexual relationships are somehow valued more than friendships are, um, to me they're all equally important. My friends are my family, I love my friends just as much as I love my boyfriend, so I'm a... Yeah, um... I don't get it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get the way that gender and sexuality are constructed by society at present. There are some articles I can vaguely remember around like gender and sexuality being a performance from theater and I think also my women's and gender studies class. Um, yeah, from those courses. I do not know where those textbooks are though, so I cannot get into those right now, but um, there are things that exist that would be helpful with my argument, but um, this is more of an opinion and personal feelings thing and um, about my experiences, so maybe not the time to try and off-handedly do an essay with textbooks I don't even have at the moment. Um, moving on from that to the other big thing, though, for me with intersection between my queer identity and my autistic identity is accessibility, which is why I don't really consider myself fully to be part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, I find that community to be quite inaccessible for a variety of reasons. Um, first off, um, occasionally you will run into people who don't believe that asexuals belong in that community, but my experience that hasn't been the big one. The big one has been accessibility for disabilities, and this is true not just for autistic people, but for people with other disabilities as well. For example, wheelchair users and deaf, hard of hearing people. Um, and of course there can be intersectionality between different types of disabilities, and um, a lot of LGBTQ spaces are very inaccessible. Um, Pride events can have extremely loud music, which is the same for events in bars and clubs. Loud music, bright lights, things like that. Um, the Pride events in my current community are accessible for other reasons of loud noises. Uh, evil American protesters imported by certain people in the community. Um, get away from me, mosquito. <laughs> this was not the best recording location, but, um, yeah, um, as an autistic person, I find that these events and spaces can be very inaccessible. I am afraid of 
having a meltdown be triggered by the loud noises, bright lights, um, big crowds. It's <laughs> These are supposed to be events that are welcoming, but when it comes to people with disabilities, um, there can be a lot of things overlooked that can make it feel a little less welcoming than it should be, which is a thing for not just the autistic community, but other disabled groups as well, and I know that it is something that is starting to be... Oh, there goes some geese. I know it's a thing that is starting to be brought up more in conversations around the LGBTQ community, but until those conversations start happening more and be, and accessibility becomes uh, more of a priority, it's going to be very difficult for me as a queer person to feel like I am really welcomed into LGBTQ spaces. So yeah, a few interesting intersections there for me. Um, I feel that my queerness is directly tied to being autistic, but because I am autistic, it feels like I am not fully welcomed into those spaces because they are inaccessible in a lot of ways. So yeah, um, my phone's starting to die, so it needs to be plugged in. And I think that was all I had to say on this topic right now anyway. So, um, gonna end it there. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again in tomorrow's video. Bye!